Thank you for tuning in to our second Insurance Careers Month interview. Today, we are interviewing Ryan Litz, who is a Territory Sales Manager with Northern Neck Insurance of Virginia. The purpose of these interviews is just to give you a glimpse into the life of various roles in the insurance industry. So we hope you learned something new today. All right. So Ryan, why don't you just tell us a little bit about the company that you work for and what you do for them? Okay. So uh, I work for Northern Neck Insurance. Um, we are a personal lines insurance company. Uh, the unique thing about us is we are a Virginia only company. So um, we have founded on the Northern Neck portion of Virginia. Um, and this year we've actually celebrated 125 years in business. So we have been around for a very long time. Uh, what we do is we service uh, personal lines customers. So we sell homeowners insurance, auto insurance, um, umbrella insurance, and dwelling insurance. So, um, you know, we've been around for a long time. We know Virginia, we know Virginia customers, and that's what we really specialize in. And I currently work for them as a territory manager. Um, I manage the Southwest, kind of central and Southwest portion of the state, um, basically from Lynchburg all the way down to, um, you know, Bristol and on the other side of Bristol as well. Um, so I manage about 75 agencies or so uh, across the south side of Virginia. Okay. Now, does your job involve a lot of travel or are you mostly in your office? I do. I do. So I travel well pre-COVID. Yes, I did travel quite okay. a bit. Um, you know, I'm on the road four to five days a week, you know, going around visiting with the agencies, um, you know, getting to know everybody. It's been unique with the COVID situation. You know, we kind of got taken off the road. Um, you know, the company wanted us to be you know, safe and be careful with the exposures and, you know, not try to expose, you know, the people at the office or myself or family. So uh, it's been unique this year. So Zoom and Teams meetings and a lot of phone calls this year. So it has been a lot of work from home uh, this year, but it's been, uh, you know, it, you know, the thing, good thing with the technology nowadays is, you know, we can still connect um, on a daily basis, even though it's not, you know, that face-to-face -face interaction that, you know, I really enjoy and I like as far as part of my job is, you know, to do those face-to-face -face interactions. But, uh, you know, Zoom, I guess, is the, is the next best thing right now. Right. Yeah. A lot of flexibility required lately with, with everybody's jobs, I think. Um, so how long have you been in the position that you are currently in? Um, so this so this month is actually two years uh, with Northern Neck. So I have been in the insurance industry since 2010. So I've worked with a couple different insurance carriers um, over the past few years. But uh, yeah, I've been with Northern Neck for two years now. Okay. And uh, what road led you to the position that you're in now or the job that you're doing now? Is it what you planned to, to do with your life, quote unquote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, you know, the unique thing about the insurance industry that, that I've gained from, you know, talking with a lot of people is it's, it's either, you know, they had family members or, or, you know, they had somebody that worked in an agency and they kind of got into the insurance industry that way, or it's kind of like myself where it's just kind of blind luck. So, yeah. you know, I, I started working for uh, Nationwide Insurance back in 2010 and kind of fell into the insurance industry that way. Um, I didn't know anything about it. It wasn't really a career path that I had thought about. Um, but, you know, I got into working with it. I really liked working on the insurance side of it. Um, you know, and I've worked on the personal line side. I've worked for a health insurance company doing health insurance for a while. You know, I've worked on the commercial side of insurance. So, you know, I've had the opportunity over my career to kind of work in different avenues. Um, and, you know, and I've thoroughly enjoyed my career, um, you know, as far as in the insurance industry. It's a very rewarding, you know, career being able to work in this type of industry. I think the biggest thing or the biggest takeaway from it that most people don't think is, uh, you know, it, it's something about being able to help individuals, you know, working either from an agency side or working on the company side, like I do, you know, a lot of times, you know, people buy insurance or they just, you know, purchase it because they feel like, you know, they have to have it for, for coverage on their car or, you know, they're, sure. for their home or things like that. You know, but the unique thing about us is that, you know, we're there in a time of need, most need for those customers. So whether, you know, it's a vehicle accident or it's a house fire or, it's, you know, they got water damage or whatever it is, it's, it's really could be a stressful, frustrating time, you know, over 70% of first of claims that are filed are first time claims. So a lot of people have never been through the process. They've never filed a claim before. They don't know anything about how the process works. And, you know, we get to step in, we get to be there at that time of need to help put their lives back together, you know, at a time where, you know, they don't know what what's coming, you know, next, you know, day by day or even hour by hour, um, you know, depending on that situation. Okay. Um, all right. So let's move on to the next question. Um, what skills do you personally possess that you do you, that? Oh, goodness. Sorry. <laughs> that you feel like make you best for this particular type of job? 
Um, I think it's just customer service and just being real people oriented. You know, the, the unique thing about this industry is the people that you work with. So, you know, you have an opportunity to work with, you know, people from all different walks of life that, that, that kind of all converge into this, you know, this insurance industry. And it's a small knit group. You, you would think it's not, um, you know, but there's people that I worked with, you know, back three or four years ago that I'm still working with today, even though I'm with a completely different company. Um, you know, so having those interpersonal skills, you know, to be able to work with people, like I said, in customer service is, is a big thing, whether, you know, you're an agent that's working with actual customers day to day or like myself on the company side, you know, I still need to have those customer service skills to help work with the agencies or if I have to, you know, work with customers, work with customers as well. So I think any kind of customer service skills um, are extremely important in this kind of industry. Okay. That says a lot about you that you still have that following too. Um, all right. So are there any common myths or misconceptions about your job that you would like to clear up? Oh, that no. Maybe the common <laughs> public might you know, not know about. Um, man, I, I don't, you know, this job is just, it, it's a lot of travel. It's, it's, it's a lot of odd hours. Um, you know, I don't have any set set desk hours like, you know, some other people have, maybe they work in claims or underwriting or other different parts, you know, other departments within, you know, either, you know, my, you know, Northern Neck or, or the industry itself. Um, you know, really, you know, I have a work cell phone that's on all the time. Um, you know, I could be answering emails at six o'clock in the morning or, or at midnight. So um, the unique thing about me is I, you know, I never stop uh, stop working. So with, sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. So <laughs> you get me in trouble sometimes. Yeah, it, it can get me in trouble sometimes, you know, with my <laughs> wife and the kids, if you know, we're out doing something, but I still have my cell phone with me or somebody calls me or emails me or something. I, I you know, sometimes I'll get a, a sigh. Like, Who is it now? You know, it, it's, you know, it's after six o'clock or something. So, um, you know, so we, you know, from a, from a, you know, territory rep, territory manager job, you know, we're, we're always working. We're always on the road. We're always trying to advocate for our, for our agencies, you know, as far as what we can do, what we can help, how can we help improve, you know, our service or our, you know, our pricing or our product. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of a 24 hour, you know, job that, you know, you just kind of get the work done when, whenever it comes up. And that's weekends too. You working? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. weekends. Okay. Yep, Saturdays and Sundays. Like I said, you know, a lot of agents. A lot of agents are that way too. You know, yeah. when you when you have an agency or running an agency, uh, you know, a lot of times you have customers. You know, they file claims on on the weekend, right? So it's not always a nine to five, you know, job where you're having you know claims or customer calls or they need to make changes or something. You know, a lot of people are you know emailing or calling agencies to make changes that it you know they buy a car on a Saturday. So. Yeah, even weekends I'm working, you know, Sundays, Sunday nights, um, you know, I'm trying to get stuff together and ready for, for the, you know, the upcoming week. So, yeah, it, it's it's a seven day a week job. Okay. <laughs> that is a good thing to know going into it, I'm sure. Um, so as far as aspiring uh, to have a job like yours, what advice would you give to somebody who, um, you know, wants to do what you do? What route should they take? That sort mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, to get into this kind of position, there's there's certainly different routes that you can take. Um, I think the biggest thing that helped me moving into this position was, um, you know, prior to Northern Neck, I worked for auto owners insurance um, as an underwriter for, for about three years. Um, the underwriting portion really helped me understand from an agency standpoint, you know, what their needs are, you know, what they what they want, you know, from a company standpoint. So that helped me when I moved into this position to still be able to put that hat on, you know, when I'm at an office or they have a question or concern or something that I can help with, you know, I still have that base underwriting knowledge, um, you know, that kind of helps move that forward. The other, other thing I would recommend is, um, you know, getting into that position like this is, you know, get as much education as you can. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, places out there that you can take tests. Um, the one that I use the most is the institutes um, where you can go take certain uh, insurance designation tests. Um, they help prepare you for, you know, whether you want to work on the underwriting side, the agency side, you know, claim side, finance. Um, there's a lot of different designations and tests that you can take um, that can help prepare you for this world to give you more, you know, more broad knowledge, um, you know, moving forward. Okay. All right. Good advice. Any um, advice on what path not to take? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it really just depends when you get into the industry. Like I said, some people, you know, move into the industry and, and you know, they work maybe customer service and then they go to claims and they go to product development or they go to actuarial. So, you know, really kind of, you know, kind of scope it out and, and see what you think is going to be a good fit for you. You know, for me personally, I, you know, I never got into the claim side of it. Um, it was, you know, it just wasn't an area that interested me as much as far as the sales and the underwriting uh, side of it. So, you know, be open to, you know, looking at different
engagement and, and, and talk to people around the industry too, you know, so I use my connections within the insurance industry, you know, to reach out to people to, you know, kind of see, Hey, what, what's it like, you know, on the, on the claim side, like what kind of issues are you guys having or, you know, talking with on the agency side, like, Hey, what, what issues are you guys having, you know, from an agent's perspective with certain carriers or with claims or with, you know, adjusters, that kind of thing. So be, be willing and be open to, you know, to have those conversations with, you know, people from all different, you know, kind of backgrounds um, within the industry. Always good to have good resources on speed dial. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, is there anything that I haven't asked that you would, any information that you would like to put out there that you would like for the general public to know about your job? Yeah. Like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoy my job, you know, being on the road, um, you know, I'm very much a people person. So, you know, it's been tough this past year, not being able to be on the road. You know, usually I'm, I'm putting in, you know, 40 to 50,000 miles on the road to visit all my agencies. And like I said, I'm visiting three or four offices a day, just interacting with people. So you know, it's been difficult for me this year. Uh, well, I guess this past year and, and even, you know, moving into 2021, you know, you know, having to try to adapt. Um, and that's one thing from a, from, you know, insurance perspective is you, you have to adapt to a lot of changes, not only, you know, with the whole COVID stuff, um, but, you know, the insurance industry changes all the time. There's always new rules or new regulations or different things from the bureau that comes down um, that you have to learn to, you know, kind of take on, adjust and move forward with. So, you know, be open to change. Um, you know, so like I said, I, I thoroughly enjoyed, you know, my position here, but uh, I'm, I'm ready to get back out on the road again. Oh, I bet. <laughs> This has been an interview with Ryan Litz, who again is a territory manager with Northern Neck Virginia Insurance. To everyone who took the time to log in and hear what we have to say, thank you so much. I hope you're learning something new and continue to keep an eye out for more interviews. There is more to come. Have a wonderful day.